Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up the Firebase Emulator for local development. The Firebase Emulator allows us to set up some of the Firebase services locally instead of connecting to a live Firebase project. Over the next few videos, I'll be going over the steps to set up Firebase Auth, Firestore and functions using the Firebase Emulator. In this first video, we'll focus on Firebase Auth. If you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Please note that in order to run the emulator, you'll need Node.js, which can be downloaded from Node.js.org, and the Java JDK installed on your machine. I'm using the Zulu Open JDK on my Mac machine. You can install the same version using Homebrew by running the following commands. If you're on a different OS, please refer to this section of the Firebase documentation. The link is in the video description. Once you have all that sorted, let's go ahead and set up a Firebase project in the Firebase console. Go to the Firebase console and create a new Firebase project. Once the project is created, go ahead and create a web application. We'll use the app config later in this video. Next, install the Firebase CLI. The Firebase CLI is a command line tool that allows us to interact with Firebase from our terminal. You can install it using the following command. And then run Firebase login to log into your Firebase account. This will authenticate you with Firebase and allow you to use the Firebase CLI. We'll then initialize a Firebase project using Firebase init. Select Firebase emulator and use an existing Firebase project. This will allow us to set up the Firebase emulator with the services we want to use, such as Auth and Firestore. Make sure to select the Firebase project you created earlier when prompted. Next, select the services you want to include in your emulator, such as Auth, Firestore, Database and Functions. You should now be able to run the emulator using the following command. Next, initialize a new JavaScript project and install the Firebase module. Once the project is created, you can install the Firebase module using npm install Firebase. In the package.json file, set the type to module. So this could be your app web application or mobile application. Just to keep things simple in this video, we'll set up a basic JavaScript project that will connect to our Firebase emulator. In the index.js file, let's import initialize app and let's also import get auth and connect emulator from Firebase.
We'll then initialize our Firebase project using the details of the web application that we set up earlier in the Firebase console. Next, let's connect our authentication to the emulator using the connect auth emulator that we just imported. So instead of passing the initialized app in our get auth function, we'll connect to the emulator instead. Lastly, we can now test our implementation by creating users or signing in as an existing user using create user with email and password and sign in with email and password so let's go ahead and create a new user at the moment we don't have any users as you can see in the emulator Now, if I run my app, it should create this user and we can check the emulator to confirm. And that's it. Using the emulator, you can test your Firebase project locally and make sure everything is working as expected before deploying to dev or production. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers.